All right, let's race to the back here. This is a this is a power shop. I think I've been I have been to this Goodwill before. Let's look at this pineapple. He's pretty fantastic. The color is amazing. Oh look, somayaki wear, soma wear. You know what? I don't want the sign that says I can't. I want the sign that says I don't want to. They have a baggy wall. Ooh. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. So road trip time, and I am here in Kingman, Arizona, where, yes, there's a Goodwill. There she be. And it's a great little stopping point in our trip. We've been driving for about two and a half hours. And uh, we're gonna go in here and see what treasures, and I say we, I have friends along, see what treasures we can find. We're gonna say hi, Brenda. Hi. Say hi, Bree. All right, lucky which cart. is which is the lucky one? The one Brenda has. Oh, you, she's got the lucky cart. I'll just go with the semi-lucky cart. Yes, this one. All right, and they have purple tags. Is there 50% off color? All right, let's race to the back here. This is a, this is a power shop. I think I've been, I have been to this Goodwill before. Okay, man, long, long time ago, way back in my videos, you'll find my Kingman, Arizona Goodwill. I just didn't realize when I was coming here, it was this one. Aww somebody's doggy paw why why is that at goodwill that should not be a goodwill i am going to need to be quite picky even more picky than i normally have been because this is only the first stop of many on this trip and there's not a ton of room in the car so there's a little mud man he's got his little fishing pole. It's $249. Oh, his hat's broken. That's too bad. Little angel. Little duckies. Some satin glass. All right. Nothing too exciting on this shelf. Are these lemons? Oh, they are lemons. Those are sweet. Stanford Hill. Stanford Hill Pottery. Kind of like the let if I was home, I'd pick those up. But you are welcome to them. Not for me to buy them, to get them to you later. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, don't make it so tempting for me. He's cute. Made in Japan. That's a vintage sticker on him. Three dollars and forty-nine cents. We will grab this little owl. I think he might be for incense or potpourri or something but he's just cute what are these little guys little ashtrays what's that one for, uh, i don't state of arizona so you can no. use the and i think it's 20 percent off i'll double check yeah. it's on my phone Okay, cool. So you're welcome to use that. Yeah, senior day is tomorrow. That's um, right. I do have a 20% off coupon for Arizona, Arizona Goodwills as well. That's a pretty bowl. Makes you ambiance collection. Not for use in the oven. Well, I don't know why you would think that that would be good for the oven, but there you go. All right, let's see. What we got in the mugs. Not that I really need any mugs right now. Hmm. But if there was one that was super special, I would. I would grab it. And glassware, again, it has to be super special. But you never know. Those are really cool little mid-century glasses that I will be leaving. And we got stemware. Little German 
wine glass. I think they call that the beehive wine glass. Hmm, nothing else on this shelf. Those are pretty. Look at these little rose stems and then the little draped. Decent quality, not great quality, just decent quality. And that's a real, like, you gotta feel them. Go get your hands on some really high quality stemware uh, where it's identified and you know what it is. And then you're, you're, it's gonna be in your brain how that good quality feels. Look at this pineapple. He's pretty fantastic. The color is amazing. Lindy, Lindy made that pineapple. What great color. I just, I feel like I have to have this pineapple. Even though it's a hobbyist piece, it's so well done and the colors are so vibrant. I love it. These are really nice fused glass. I don't know, is that a wine glass or a water goblet? It's very large and deep for a wine glass, but I don't know, 249. I'm not gonna get those. Got some kind of a yellow, yellowy amber. It's not an amber amber. And I don't see anything else except maybe this, they call it a banana vase. It's just pressed glass. I just really like the shape of it, but we're gonna leave it. They have a little wall of like kitchen gadget baggies, but I did peek up here and see some salt and pepper, so Seaquarium and Nebraska. Nope, nothing we need to take. Cute little garland strung across there. Oh, some more owls. These are brand new little owls. Huh, they were $2 uh, somewhere. And now they're $3.49 at Goodwill. They are newer. Don't know who makes you. Hmm, let's see. <gasps> roosters. Hello, rooster trivets. Two forty-nine. Again, not something I really need to be picking up on a road trip. And it's different because of the space. I am, you know, I would kick myself if I got to the last stop on the trip and there was not room for some pretty fantastic things. So that's what I keep in my mind is you never know. You never know. And you got to leave room for uh, something spectacular. So if it's not spectacular, think about leaving it. Who makes you? Flamingo. Now, do you think Hilton Laughlin? Hilton Laughlin Flamingo. I didn't know there was a flamingo out in Laughlin. Interesting. I was going to say if it was the Flamingo in Vegas, that might be a good collector item. And anything Tropicana related, I would say be on the lookout for and pick it up because they are getting ready to destroy the Tropicana, which is an icon landmark of Vegas that is going away. These look like restaurant wear. I'm just peeking. World Ultima, yep. Those are restaurant wear platters. Looks like they came from a steakhouse. Somehow I missed this. That has got to be a hobbyist piece. It's interesting, but not done quite well enough to pass the uh, professional potter muster. All right, small appliances. We always look just to see if there's anything out of place. But nope, not today. Hmm. Electronics laid out much differently than the uh, Vegas Goodwills, but then there's a little baby doll up here. Not really my cup of tea though. Looks like the rest of his doll friends are over here. Now she looks older. Let's take a peek at her. Look at her clothing. Oh, somebody cut her hair. She had long hair at some point in her life. Who are you? There's the mark under the neck there. 
I don't know who she is, but she was a nice doll. I mean, she is a nice doll, but she definitely is not in pristine condition anymore. Little paperweight. Nice little uh, circle of friends. Candle holder. Ooh. You have a mid-century look to you. Nice little leaf. Oh, it's purple too, so it's only a what is that? Dollar seventy-five? Hmm. Do I want it for a dollar seventy-five? It's a really nice little leaf. It could be used in one of my project pieces. Yes, I could envision maybe like a uh, little pixies on there. Or maybe a bird scene. Yep, I'm gonna grab that one. That's kind of fun. Look at the colored feet on that. I like that. $4.49. Oh, look! Soma Yaki wear. Soma wear. Normally I pick these up for like a dollar, two dollars, three fifties, a little on the pricey side for these, but I need some right now. So I am gonna pay it. This is a nice one. It's still got its original little sticker there, and it's impressed right there, made in Japan. And it's got the horse nice and imprinted still on the inside. Okay, let's grab it. Little bell, Pike's Peak. I don't see anything else. Too exciting here. Let's take a peek at this little piece of pottery. Signed. Stewards? Something like that. To 350. All right, let's look over here. What do we have? Plates. Mm, definitely not really even looking at the plates. What are you? Kumar. Oh, you're broken. Vitrum's hand painted ceramic tiles. Sharam Bombay. Really nice, really nice colors. Um, but it is broken on that little corner there. Nice little Alaska coaster. Ooh, what are you? You look very 90s. Five, 550 basically. Hmm, you are signed on the back. Let's see what that says. Hmm, I can't read it. And it's not that I can't see it, it's that it's not clear. It's kind of smudged. So I can't quite make out the letters at the beginning. Barker, Barkery? It's got me curious now though. It's interesting. I just wish it wasn't 550. If it wasn't 550, I would have probably picked that one up to investigate further. Are you a little jar? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you are an adorable little jar. Why do you have lights on you, though? Why does the little bear have lights? Is something missing? Is this part of something else? I feel like it is. I feel like it's like a three-piece kind of thing, and the third piece is not there. This is older. It's like a McCoy, I want to say, or of that era. Unfortunately, it's pretty damaged there. Oh, Nick, Las Vegas. All right, what do we have up here? Lots of clear glass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I just remembered I do have a 20% off. Let's see, $5.50 and you get like $4. Maybe, mm, maybe. If it's still pulling at me by the time I get done, I may go back and get that funny little bag looking thing. These are older. These are interesting with the kind of the, what do you call that? I don't remember what you call it, but I know it was very, very popular in the seventies and there's a pair. That's why I'm interested because there's actually a pair. It would be $15. Now what's kind of pulling me away is the screws used here and I don't know if those have been replaced. I doubt that's been all replaced. So maybe these aren't as old as I think they are. Mm, 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them. I may regret that. But you know what? I usually don't regret because there's always more stuff. That is kind of my mantra. There is always, always more stuff. More things to be had. And maybe some other reseller will come and get that. And that'll make me super happy. Just like finding some Talavera. There's the Mexico mark. $3.50. Let's grab the little Talavera frame. Oh, that's an oldie. Oldie, oldie. Not a flip clock, though. Those are the ones that are worth quite a bit if you find a flip clock, a flip alarm clock. I don't know why they ever got rid of those. They are kind of fun, kind of cool. All right, so I am on the side of the store that has like sporting goods and some mishmash. So we'll skim there really quickly and head back over to where all of the goodies are. Here, I see a great big vase here. It's not signed. It's got a Hager color, but it is not marked. It would fit into that kind of a decorator style though, kind of a mid-century that uses those moths. Made in China. It's interesting. Let's see if there's anything else of value up here. I am not seeing anything. All right, let's peek in the metals. Got some tins. I don't see anything too old. Oh, give me an H. And more metals. I'm almost kind of looking through here for just such a thing because I do believe is it no it's not I'm looking I'm is it is this one of the let me see no I always look for the uh, the chip and dip holders but that's is this is for a teacup all right no okay they look similar to that they're very similar to that but that's not it but it's the holders for the vintage chip and dip glass bowls. I'm sure they get separated all the time and then just end up on the shelf like that. Okay, I don't see anything too exciting. I do kind of like this copper basket. Not very functional though. Definitely not very functional. All right, plastic. They have a little plastic section. Most stores have like a whole row, not this one. It's like we're only giving this much to the plastics. And we've got the scrapbook and wrapping paper and office supply section. My thoughtful wall, what do you say? Less is more unless it's, unless it's what? <laughs> What, did, what is it? Less is, less is more on the... Oh, unless it's coffee. That's funny. I'm not a coffee drinker, so that one doesn't have meaning to me. Now, had that said Dr. Pepper, well then. Oh, let's look through the wood. This came out of something nice, because look at those nice little dovetailed corners. wonder what that was part of. Because this look, almost looks like it was like a little drawer. That came from something too. Hmm. It's like those are supposed to go together. Put them there for somebody. Let's see what other excitement is in here. Some knife blocks. Let me get over to the other side here. I'll go back to the middle in a second. Somebody else is trying to shop there. Where are you? I think that has like holy water in it. It is. Interesting. Oh. Oh, it's a cross. It's a cross. Oh, I see it now. But I wonder if it's missing something that would have made it hang. I don't know. It's kind of neat. That's olive wood. Oh, wait. Maybe you just hang it from this. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. All right, now I see it. I'm gonna grab that. I see a funny little guy back here. Oh, I just took you completely off your little stand. Let me go back and fetch that for you. There we go. There we go. Who are you? What do you do? You're just, uh, you're just a thing. You're a little thing that doesn't really, oh my goodness. That just, oh my goodness. That just falls apart. Here. Put you, oh my goodness. <laughs> There's too much stuff in stock here. Okay, let's put you back where you came from. Just stay. All right. Goodness gracious. There's a lot of stuff stacked on this shelf. You know what? I don't want the sign that says I can't. I want the sign that says I don't want to. I don't want to. It's much different than I can't. I could adult today. I don't want to. I do like that pumpkin. I feel like I need this. I need this pumpkin. And anything vintage, anything cool. Are those little block coasters? They're just plain. Nothing exciting. We're looking for exciting. It's not on this shelf. I mean, those are cute. Those are cute little piggy coasters for $3.50. Can't tell if the coat. I think the coasters are just plain. Yeah, the coasters are not painted, just the outside. So we'll leave that. Strawberries. Oh, it's a little. It's a little hangy thing with with little wood strawberries. Very folk art. Folk art kind of looking thing that I'm not going to pick up. I'm not going to do it. Italian lover, 24 hour service, pasta and wine included. <laughs> That's kind of pretty. It's kind of nice. Chill out. Loads of love. Ooh, it's quite the variety on this shelf. <sighs> nothing, nothing that I need though. Let's look over here where we kind of missed. I always try to be respectful of others who are shopping and I stay out of their way until they're done. Because there is plenty of stuff for all of us. There is always, always, always something to be thankful for. That is absolutely true. And uh, give me a W. Somebody said I haven't been saying that for a while. So there we go. It just really hasn't quite presented. That is Sirocco wood. And this is what happens to the old Sirocco wood. It gets pretty beat up. And unfortunately, this poor little piece has uh, seen better days. Sorry, little guy. All right, what do we have over here in the fake plants and such? That's a shame. That is, uh, I believe, Mackenzie Child. Now the question is, how bad does that ship affect the value? And I wonder if it's something that Rachel could fix for me. So for $3.50, I think I'll go ahead and pick it up still. I have been in discussions with the girl because she's getting at that age where there are things that she wants and mom is now saying, well, what are you gonna do to earn the money to get that? So I am raising her motivation level for doing things like, you know, fixing things for mom or selling her paintings or working at the store. She has lots of opportunity to make money. She just has to step up to the plate and wanna do it. So we'll see, we'll see. But that's a that's a good little uh, project piece for her. See, there is stuff in the most unusual of places. This is like over by the vacuum cleaners and fans, but he's just like paper. Let's see if we've got any interesting lamps. Yeah, nothing too exciting. He's kind of cute. 550. I don't know if he's 550 cute though. I don't think he is. All right, Christmassy. We're getting ready to start. Christmas in July is happening next week at the store. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe Christmas in July is already here. 
which uh, is really cool because we have a lot of stuff that we have been putting away. We don't put out all the Christmas and now we're gonna get it all out and make room in the back room for some other things. We are uh, in the process of bringing on another nonprofit and I think it's gonna be really great. They just kind of have things a little bit of everywhere at this store. And you gotta look through all of it. Make sure you don't miss that gem. More of the office supplies. Oh, that's a really cute pencil cup. World's sweetest golfer. $1.50. It is a pencil cup, right? That's what it is. I think, is that what it says? Contains, oh, it contained milk chocolate golf balls. Oh. It's kind of fun, but I don't need it. Don't need it. Let's shop on. They have a baggy wall. Ooh. Our Goodwills don't have baggy walls. They just have like some stuff on the end caps. Those beads look older, don't they? Am I seeing things that just look like 70s, like 70s vibe going there they are wood but what would I do what would I do with those beads can I use those in something I don't need all this other stuff that's the thing there are I mean there's stamps in there that I could maybe I could just lock those up and sell those I these beads are calling me I'm gonna get them for 350 I see some ducks and a seal now the seal has me a little intrigued. He's a bone china. He looks older. It's really hard to see if he's chipped though. Oh yeah, he's got his little tag still on there. Then I would just have to deal with the ducks, which now I can just donate to the store. Uh, but is the seal worth $3.50? I'm not sure he is. So for that reason, I'm going to pass it behind. See, the one piece that I want has to be worth the price if I'm going to donate the rest of it. Some little wood grapes. I kind of like the wood grapes. Those are just plastic grapes. The wood grapes are intriguing, though. Oh, maybe they're not wood. Maybe they're, see, because they're kind of splitting and it's got like that styrofoamy stuff inside magnolia hmm but that smells good okay well what are you little paint projects oh little tomatoes oh those are not very good quality not good and then we have some are they raccoons I believe they're raccoons or lemurs. Are they re lemurs or raccoons? I don't know. Again, not the greatest quality. All these salt and peppers came from somebody's collection. All right, nothing else here. So this just caught my eye because of what else is in my cart. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, it's heavy. See, that design right there matches that design right there. And what does that say? McCovney Camaro. Hmm. Oh, this is the same as I found at the estate sale. Oh, stand by. I need both hands to flip this back over. All right. So because I've recently researched this maker and I know it's very very high end I will pay that 950 in a heartbeat and now it makes more sense that I have that bowl as well and now I'm gonna dig and see if there's any more ah yes there we go there we go same design and there it is MC Woo -hoo -hoo. 450 on that all right I am gonna look real close that is melamine i would go with it but that is not it 
pretty bowl. Don't know who makes you. Are these Tupperware? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm looking close. I'm scouring. I'm scouring. I'm scouring because it seems that the whole collection of that was donated. So there is liable to be more of it. Oh, look at this. This kind of goes with that other leaf that I got. Pietri made in Italy. That is a beautiful piece for $3.50. I'm going to grab that too. And let's see what else. Half a turkey. Oh, what are you? Little heavy enameled bowls. I have 50 on those. Those are really pretty for the pair. I'll grab those. Let's look and see if we missed any over here. It's an interesting pattern. Let's look at you. Nothing, nothing on the bottom. All right, we'll leave you. And peek up here. Nope, I don't see any more. Let's take a peek through the artwork. This is the smaller artwork. Cute little frog on there. Puerto Rico souvenir. Flavia. No, no. Oh, they have so much happening in that back room. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and it's loud. Things are breaking. Okay, I'm a little too close to show this artwork effectively. Let me get to a spot where I can back up and show you what I'm seeing here. So they have a whole wall here of art. I do like when art is displayed this way. What's this piece? This photograph is numbered 11 of 250. This is not an image about flag waving, rather it's the story of two men and a flag and seeking permission to photograph this flag. I met its owner well into his 60s and mostly gruff. He posed no objection to my work, but not with grace. In asking about the flag, he responded that he carried it in Vietnam to keep him close to the country he loved. An interesting anecdote in and by itself, but the real story was in the next phase in the history of this flag. He had given it to his grandson to carry in the Gulf War. The boy used it as his pillow for the same reasons as granddad. The old soldier felt the flag had brought his grandson home safely too. That is really awesome. You know what? Fourth of July. I think for three fifty, I'm going to honor this flag and uh, make sure it gets a proper home. That's a fun Beatrix Potter print. Looks very 70s or 80s maybe. Maybe 80s on that frame. I could get it out and look at the back. Let's see. Old America store out of Tucson, Arizona. That one's 10 bucks though. Oh, I'm trying to get it back in here one-handed. There we go. I made it. It's sweet. Hopefully somebody finds that. And they've got more lamps out here in the middle. Some bigger stuff. Let's see what we got. Somebody put some items over here. Nothing too exciting though. Let's go take a quick peek. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Came from Ross. See all of that terracotta bakeware over here. Don't want to turn too fast, make everybody seasick. Here we go. Ooh, that one's fun with the sun on it. These are usually made in Mexico. Or I think there's some that are German. Like this one says... Schlemmer top, Schlemmer toppin, something like that. So that is uh, Schlemmer tops. Yeah, there we go. However you say that. All right, looking over here. I like the blankets and throws. I do see some crocheted ones. I'm not fond of those colors. I'm really not fond of those colors either. 
I am fond of these colors. That's fun. That's a fun blanket. Oh, you are. Oh, ten dollars though. Hmm. I don't think I like it ten dollars worth. I liked it about five dollars worth. Yeah, I don't see anything else. All right, let's wander down the pillow shams. I'm really looking for something that grabs my eye, and I'm really looking now for there's a an Indian uh, design. It's an embroidery. Let me remember how it's Suri, Sari, Suri. Ah, I can't remember. I have a saved. I have a saved search for it now, and it's a patchwork, and it's absolutely awesome. And I'm on the lookout for it. All right, their plush is almost unshoppable. It's so stuffed up here. But this looks older. She feels older. She's a radio. Yes, she is older. $2.49. I sold one not too long ago that was in not as good condition. And uh, I think she's fabulous. Let's grab her. And that's kind of how it's going to have to work because I'm not digging and taking a chance of that all falling down. These boots are really cool. Look at that. They've got butterflies. I can't wear heels anymore like that. And they're too big. I know. It's not boot season, but you know what? That's the best time to shop for boots is when it's not boot season. All right, I really came over here to look at the purses. That was my quest. Jing Pin. That's kind of a fun purse. See how much you are. Don't be twelve ninety nine. Nine forty nine. It's a little more than I want to pay. It's not in super good condition. If it was in super good condition, I'd consider it because I do get twenty percent off. Rosetti. <laughs> that is a fun print. It's like a giraffe print. Eight fifty. 850. I mean, 850 is not bad. 850 is better than 1299. I must say. Oh, let's see. I don't know who makes you. I just like the blue. Just like the blue. I don't think there's anything super exciting except this little. Look at that. It's like a rug tapestry, but are you new or are you old? That's the thing. Are you vintage inspired or are you vintage? You're Kenzie. I don't know Kenzie. 950. That is a fun little purse. Kenzie. This one is really tugging at me. 950. So that would, it would be about mm, like eight bucks, seven fifty, eight bucks with the discount. I just don't, I just don't think it's, I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Let me know. Let me know if I made a mistake putting that back. I'm open to it. See you right. Bella Horizonte since 1965. Again, that's not a name I'm familiar with. All right, no purses. Ooh, that's really soft. Why are you so soft? You must, you must use a really good conditioner. It's a bueno. <laughs> oh, I see a little Minnie Mouse. Little purse here. Depends how much it is. I still need to do a Disney sale. I had to postpone my last Disney sale. It just... The stars did not align for that to happen for me. So I need to do it. I still have all the Disney stuff. Oh, it's only $2.50. See, I like that. I like $2.50. Do you have a name? Are you licensed? Are you real Disney? You are real Disney. It says it right in there. It's got the Disney tags. And I think she would clean up just fine. So let's grab her. Take a peek. See if there's any other good wallets because I sell wallets in my purse sale as well. And little handbags. They're kind of nice, little faux ostrich. But there's no name. Wait, are you over here? Nope. No name, no name for you. 
a lot harder to sell a purse with no name. It can be a really good purse, but if it doesn't have a name, it's hard to advertise, it's hard to describe it to people. People know names in purses, that's what they want. They want something that's familiar to them. Ooh, that one's kind of fun. Let's see you. Who makes you? You are 750 and again, no name. And the quality is not real good. It's, I don't even think it's real leather, to tell you the truth. It's just, it's kind of fun. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up here. I'm going to head out. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. fun always fun to go to a goodwill that is you know not the normal goodwill that I'm used to going to and those pottery the pottery I guess it's pottery ceramic pottery uh, it's not Mackenzie Childs I know a lot of people told me when that MC was on the the pieces that I got at Betsy's estate sale that it was Mackenzie Child it's not it's this other maker which of course I can't remember now but it's all spelled out on that one piece which is really cool that verifies it. So that was an exciting find, especially since I have just done the research and know what that is. All right, back on the road to Phoenix. We'll catch you on the next one. You go be profitable and make it fun and drive fast. <laughs>